my channel. I want to thank you so much. My name is Chris Galt and I am the author of My Journey to the Fountain of Youth, which is a book you can get on Amazon that has a lot of great tips on how to look and feel as young as possible as you age in life. Basically be the best version of you. And today I'm going to talk about five different tips on how to start a healthy lifestyle. So if you haven't started a healthy lifestyle, don't worry. There's always time to start. And here are five tips to help you get there. tips and just remember the, uh, to stay for all of them because they're all five work well together so you probably you want to stay to the end so you can see all the five and how they work together to help you get to be to get into a healthy lifestyle um, but before we get into the tips just want to mention to subscribe to the channel and to click on the bell so that way you get notified uh, every time I put out a video I try to put them out every Thursday and uh, this way you'll be notified whenever this uh, content comes out and you can enjoy it so let's get started. Let's go on to tip number one. So tip number one is to get a partner. Uh, with me personally, uh, my wife and I uh, both live healthy lifestyles. She's actually a health coach. Um, we work out together. Um, we, we, uh, we, we'll, we'll work out with weights. We'll run together. Um, we eat very healthy. And so that way we keep each other on track. So, you know, if you can get a partner, that's really going to help you stay focused. You'll be accountable not only to yourself, but to them, um, you, you, you won't want to mess up because you want to help them out as well. And so get a partner. It's also just more fun. So if you're going to go running, let's say, or walking and you know, you're by yourself, it's just not as fun as if you're there with someone that you can talk to. Or if you're in the gym, it's really good fun to have a partner that you can push and they can push you. And, uh, and it just helps hold you accountable so that you keep getting there. If you know someone's going to be there, let's say it's a buddy of yours or, or a, a, a partner or whatever, uh, and you know that they're going to be at the gym and, uh, and they're expecting you to be there, chances of you showing up is a lot greater than if you're just going yourself. And you might say, you know, I'm a little tired. I'm not going to go. So number one tip to, is to get a partner. Um, Believe me, it will really help out, uh, not only for the working out, but also for just eating healthy and just living an overall uh, positive, healthy life. So let's move on to tip number two. So tip number two is to surround yourself with like-minded people. Uh, that way they will help you uh, obtain a healthy lifestyle. So uh, obviously if you're, if you're hanging out with people and they're running and they're, 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 either, or they're hiking or they're, they're biking, um, whatever they're doing, um, if it's active and it's healthy and they're eating healthy, um, chances are you're going to, you're going to do it too, right? So if you're hanging out with somebody who sits at a bar, people who, you know, sit at a bar all day long eating French fries, you'll probably sit at a bar all day eating French fries. So surround yourself with like-minded people and positive people who are just going to help you, uh, with your healthy lifestyle and you'll find that you'll gravitate that way and it'd be very easy to live a healthy lifestyle if you have friends that are doing the same. So that's tip number two. So let's move on to tip number three. A lot of people forget about tip number three, but basically physical activity and health lifestyle doesn't have to be painful. So what I would recommend is to have fun. Try to find something that you like to do. Like you can do kickboxing like these two are doing, or you could hike if that's what you like to do. Um, if you like to lift weights, lift weights, uh, uh, you know, but try, try to still get in the three basic exercises of, of um, resistance, cardio and stretching, but do something that you like. If you really love yoga, you know, do yoga. Yoga actually has a lot of resistance training in itself. So it actually can knock out two of those uh, exercises. Um, so basically just have fun. And there's a lot of great ways, you know, if, if you like to cycle, you know, just go out on a nice long, a bike ride in the country and it's beautiful and you have a great time so th there's so many different ways if you love swimming you know pick swimming so swimming is actually a great overall exercise in itself so I would just recommend you know find something that you really like some people like Zumba let's say you know Zumba is a great way to work out and have a, a great time as well 
So pick something that you have fun with that's healthy um, and you are, you're going to find that you're going to be more successful in living a healthy lifestyle if you actually enjoy it. Also, you want to get in the mindset of enjoying what you do. You don't want to get in this mindset like, oh, I have to go work out, man, God. You, know, you want to get yourself in the mindset like, you know what? I'm gonna go meet Bill at the at the gym. We're gonna knock out some weights. It's gonna be a lot of fun, you know. And uh, and, I'm, and then you know tomorrow I get to meet with uh, Susie and Jill, and and we're gonna go for that three mile run, and uh, we're gonna be able to just catch up with the day and have a great time. Um, and so if you look at it in a positive way, then you will be more successful. So have fun with it, and you'll enjoy it. Let's move on to tip number four. Tip number four is to just work on the positive. You know, keep the positive in mind. It, it, be positive about what you do. Don't don't think about oh my god, I have to eat this terrible dinner full of vegetables. It's like hey, you know, I get to eat this great dinner that I made. It's full of great healthy nutrients. It's going to make me feel great when I'm done. Um, you know, life is a gift. Uh, we're only here for a little while, and uh, so basically. You know, if you're alive and you're out there and doing things, there's no bad days. You just just go out, just just go out, have a great time, and if you keep that positive mental attitude, you will find that you'll be able to live a great, healthy lifestyle, both mentally and physically, a lot easier than if you go into it uh, with a negative approach. Um, anyone can come in and say, you know, I really, 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 really hate working out. I really hate eating healthy. And if you have that kind of attitude then you'll never succeed in living a healthy lifestyle. You really have to get yourself to the point where, where you have a positive um, mental attitude towards, towards living a healthy lifestyle. And that's why all these uh, tips I'm giving you tie into each other. So if you're hanging out with people or you have a partner who, is, who has the same um, uh, uh, lifestyle uh, idea, uh, living a healthy lifestyle style, then you're you're going to be better off or better chance of you living that lifestyle as well. And and the more you know, you can hang out with people who are positive and actually uh, want to live a healthy lifestyle, the better chance you're going to have in doing it. So just that my, my my point is is to you know just just go into it with a very positive attitude and you'll be more successful. So let's move on to the fifth one, and it's right here. So the fifth one is easy. It's just see yourself as living a healthy lifestyle. Don't say, you know, I, I mean, there are a lot of people. I used to own a running store uh, called Fleet Feet. And, uh, it, you know, we had a lot of great people who ran there. Just a lot of great people. But we also had some people that came in and said, you know, and they're still a great deal for people. But they would say, you know, okay, I'll, I'll go run. But, you know, I'm not a runner. Well, wait, you're not a runner, but you're running three miles a day, three times a week. You're, you're a runner, you know. See yourself as living a healthy lifestyle. Um, whatever you do, you know, that, that's good, you know, and reward yourself for it. Um, you know, get some athletic apparel. This lady's got some nice athletic apparel on. She's having a good time. Um, you know, that's that's what you do. You know, you, you, you could, if you wear the apparel and you and you have the shoes on and you and you're talking the talk, you're walking the walk, then you're going to be more inclined to continue to live a healthy lifestyle. So those are my five tips. Uh, obviously, there's, there's other tips out there, so if you have any uh, tips that, that you have uh, to help people live a healthy lifestyle, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any other questions or, or, or anything else, uh, leave them down there. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. And uh, until next time, I'll see you. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button. And also, please subscribe and click on the notification button to get all this great content that's coming up every week. Thank you.